Hello there and welcome to my cha 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 No. So I normally do food reviews in the car, but I've been doing them in my house, in my kitchen, because the weather and stuff here in Texas. So I just reviewed this, and right now I'm reviewing this. Daily Harvest has a whole bunch of new stuff in. You, you might want to subscribe, because like the freezer down there, I have all kinds of new stuff. I'm always honest and blunt. I know my reviews are sometimes a little bit long, but I'm always honest and blunt. And like, I have already reviewed a lot of Daily Harvest, and this is this is gonna be the last flatbread. Like I've, after this, I've reviewed all the flatbreads now. So this one is the bell pepper cilantro. It's the main ingredients is cauliflower, bell pepper, tomatillo, avocado, lime, and cilantro. So with those flavors, I'm thinking more of a I don't know. The first thing that comes to my mind is, is Mexican, right? Like a Mexican pizza. Um, not a whole lot of ingredients. Um, it says contains almond. And from the top of it, it looks like like that almond cheese. I make my own like vegan Parmesan with nutritional yeast. And I think they do it with almond and nutritional yeast. Um, so this is what it looks like. And it looks like they put quite a bit on the top. Like they weren't skimpy this time. But I baked it. At 450 degrees for 25 minutes the cauliflower crust to each their own i like it cooked a little bit longer and unfortunately i took it out after 25 minutes instead of closer to 30. the sides are nice and crispy though but this inner the center part is like kind of more soft but it depends on what you like you know what i'm saying so why don't we get the side piece where it's more crunchy Wow. I normally don't like avocado that's like hot, warm, or cooked. I like avocado cold. Like in like an avocado shake. I'm just, I make a really good vegan Filipino, I'm sorry, vegan Vietnamese avocado shake with cashew butter and avocado. It's really good to add dates to it. That's like a Middle Eastern thing. Um, but anyway, I'm getting off point. This has cinnamon. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong one. Wrong box. Um, so yeah, I know we don't like avocado that is warm or hot. And uh, cilantro, it's fine, but you know, I don't mind it cooked. I definitely get salsa verde vibes. Which is like a green sauce. Which I don't think normally it has avocado. Mmm. 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 But then there's some bitterness. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm not digging the cauliflower crust, but I've said it on their other flatbreads. I like the sweet potato crust way better, which is on this one I just reviewed, by the way. Which was really interesting. You need to watch this review. It does give me, like, Mexican food vibes. There is a little bit of bitterness, though, that I'm tasting, which is not bad. And it looks like there is cauliflower Okay, I don't like that. The crust is cauliflower. Then they put pieces of cauliflower on the top. That's too much cauliflower. Um, you know, and that just like, I don't hate cauliflower, but it kind of like overpowers it. Then you don't know, taste all the other stuff like the red bell peppers. And but let me read the ingredients to you really quick. It's organic cauliflower rice. That's interesting. Savory cabbage, organic cassava root. I'm going to skip on the, the organic stuff. Red peppers, jalapenos. It's not very spicy to me. Extra olive oil, virgin olive oil, tomatillos, avocado. And the avocado is like, uh, what is it? What is it? I can't even think. Guacamole because the avocado is salt, ascorbic acid, citric acid. Well, not really. Uh, flag seed water, almond flour, 
organic lime juice, organic cilantro, Himalayan pink salt, yellow onion puree, nutritional yeast, psyllium husk powder, organic garlic powder, organic white pepper, organic cayenne pepper. I think it's missing something. I think that this would be better if they added a protein that was marinated with like Spanish or Mexican spices and did not top it with cauliflower. And like I said before, I'm not crazy about cauliflower crust. It's not bad. I'm going to take the cauliflower off of this. But the sauce, like the salsa verde, is really, really good. But there is way too much cauliflower on top of this. Mm -mm. I love this sauce. The base of the cauliflower is fine, whatever, but it just seems like it's needing a, like a topping of like protein. Like, I don't know what. Like, you know, mock meat or maybe like uh, what's those what's those mushrooms that taste like chicken? Mm. Not portobello. They taste like steak, right? But there's a certain mushroom. I can't. Is it oyster mushrooms? I think it would be really good if they put like if they took like shredded like oyster mushrooms or some type of mushroom and like shredded it and like put it like with like maybe mole topped it with some of that with mole sauce on top of that on top of this or if you get this add a little bit of mole sauce with your own um protein right but and i've said a couple times now i don't like the cauliflower on top um it's too cauliflower and uh but the sauce the salsa verde is really good and they i'm really surprised they put quite a bit of the nutritional yeast slash almond like their fake nooch or their nooch slash fake parmesan. I can't eat over the salsa. The salsa verde is like. Mmm. But yeah, there's some bitterness, and I think that's why mole. I'm sorry I repeat myself over and over again, but like if you get this, you really like have to like cauliflower, otherwise you're probably taking the pieces off like I've been doing. It's too cauliflower y. And um yeah, I don't know. Added protein. What was that? Um birria. If you put like made birria jackfruit or birria mushrooms that's shredded and put it on top, oh my goodness, with the salsa verde, oh, that would be like a perfect, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I just can't get over the fact that the cauliflower crust is like really cauliflower-y. And then cauliflower on top again, it's too much. But if you like cauliflower, you might like it. It would be in cauliflower heaven. Mm. And like I said, definitely cook it enough to where it's not, unless you like that soft bread, but I like it more crispy. And the bread holds together like all their flatbreads. The Ed Cillium husk. Of, of just one of the things that holds it together. And other things too. And of course it's gluten free. But I think I think I remember right. Like all Daily Harvest products are always uh, plant based slash vegan. Not just vegetarian but vegan. And then also always gluten free. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10. I do like this one better. The one I just reviewed. And there's other ones in their line of products that I like better than this. However, there's some that I hate. And this one, I definitely don't hate it. Would I get it again? Yeah, I would get it again. However, I would, like I'm doing now, take the cauliflower off and then either add, I don't know why, but I think mole or birria and a protein in the birria um, would be just so good on here. So um, I'm giving this a... A 6.2 out of 10. Please comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what are the foods you want me to try. I'm sorry my reviews are so long. But, you know, this channel means so much to me. And I'm not getting paid anything on here. So, if you could just give me back some love. And uh, 
subscribe, excuse me, subscribe. All right. I hope you have an awesome 2023. I hope all of us do better because I know things are not looking good for like the housing market's bad and the price of everything keeps going up. Um, it's been hard on me too. It's been hard on a lot of us or probably most of us at least. So I really do from the bottom of my heart, I wish you the best in this year, 2023. Until next time, have a most beautiful day. All right, bye-bye.